Good morning guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. John here and you're on the Sky One Videos channel. Today, I'm going to a fly event. Fly, no, not that kind of fly. It's a jet flying event, miniature remote control jets. You don't get this on other car channels. Smash that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. Yeah, now I went, <laughs> I'm crazy. When I got into remote control flying, my wife and I, we got on a plane and we flew to DeLand. Uh, that's one of the places, Jets over DeLand is one of the known uh, places to go. And, uh, telling you it was wild these jets so like most remote control planes like the little ones they sound like weed whackers right because they got little mini gas engines and stuff but the jets I don't know what it is because they they're turbines right um, they sound the same uh, like a remote control propane powered or you know jet a fuel powered remote control jet sounds the same as a regular jet and when they fly by the the, the the reverb or the the phase shift that you hear and everything sounds like a regular it's unbelievable so you know I got my GoPro but that's not good for why this is wide angle right so I brought the uh, the uh, Sony camcorder so I can maybe zoom in a little bit it's gonna be hard though I didn't bring a tripod I'm gonna try and get some good uh, good shots some video shots I also brought I gotta wash my car here first I also brought um, <laughs> my radar gun <laughs> I want to see and lidar gun I wanted to see if I get their speed find how fast these things are going all right so I'm gonna I'm lazy I think I'm gonna do the drive through one so yeah this event should be pretty good um it's hot as all get out man it's it's I don't know I was parked in the shade 85 I know it's gonna it's supposed to get up to 90 today um by the way I know a lot of you uh, muscle car fanatics like to rev your car when you go under the underpass. But do you do it in the car wash? <laughs> Eat your heart out next door. You're, you get some little four bangers, little ricers next door here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was just gonna use the hand sprayer, but uh, I don't know, freaking hot and I don't, I don't wanna get wet. So I'm gonna just do this thing and, and move on. So yeah, uh, I gotta go to Wilson and I gotta look up where it is. So I'll see you in a little bit. I gotta ask you guys, do you have um, people just like ride your bumper for no particular reason? You might be traffic, you're coming up to a red light, doesn't matter, they just gotta get within six feet of your back bumper. I just don't understand, the speed limit here is 35. We're not going anywhere, I gotta get to the red next red light, you know? Um, but they gotta tailgate me and I'm really not sure what the point of that is <clears throat> I ended up moving over I just pulled over and let her go by me because I'm like go tailgate somebody else I just I don't understand this but I don't want to get in fights with people on the road but when you get morons like that just freaking move over and just let them go by let them rear end somebody else and then you can laugh at it and that's all I can say all right so uh, about to hit the highway Let these mufflers sing. So these touchless car washes, they don't scratch your paint, but they don't clean your car very good either. See that? Let me just see the dirt on the windows. But, whatever. Alright, rock and roll, man. Should be there in about uh, 30 minutes. Alright, I'm almost there. It's funny with the new exhaust. You can hear the popping. And I was just thinking of that movie Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. If you haven't seen it, you got to. <laughs> the scene is a real B-movie, but it's fun. Um, Mary, with the cops are like hitting the car. Someone's knocking at the door. <laughs> but that's what it sounds like when they hear the pops. <laughs> Alright, so um, yeah, we're almost there. Let's uh, Hopefully we'll see something. It's really windy out here. Um, probably not so much of an issue for In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Airport Drive Northwest. T-1. 
Take the next left onto Airport Drive Northwest. So, probably not so much of an issue for the jets as it is uh, for the slower air airplanes. But still, it's uh, it gives you a hand a hand filled when you're up there. Because if it if you see it on the ground being windy, it's it's really rough up there. All right, see you in a minute. So they must be actually flying right at the airport. Hmm, huh, interesting. I guess they get clearance and then they can fly. It's a small airport. I've never actually been to this airport before. They wanted to put one of these industrial airports in, like behind my house. And they had a big meeting about it. And uh, oh, they get the cones out, so they're expecting a lot of people this weekend. But maybe not with the rain. You can see one. Windsock is way out there, man. You are approaching your destination. Oh, there's one right there. Cool. You have reached your destination. Wilson Industrial Air Center. I don't know which way I go in. I guess we go this way. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be great. I gotta get the camcorder out here. As soon as it gets situated. Wow, this is very cool. Bigger than mine. Okay, so this, this one that says maybe that's about the size of the one I had. Look at this. I gotta get out and do a self. Look at that one. Need, need for speed. How's it going? Good, good. Boy, but with the breeze and the fan, you guys are doing good. Okay. And the barbecue. Good. Wow, that's just amazing right there. Hey, Kitty. How's it going, Kitty? How are you?
guy was flying earlier, he was doing some really nice four point rolls. These are running kerosene, and I can smell it. And it's funny, the kerosene, it uh, it sounds, it smells like a jet A fuel, kind of. Not exactly, well, it smells like kerosene, but it's got that gassy smell. Excuse me, but these, without a tripod, these are really hard to follow. I forgot how far they are to film. He just started his up. He's gonna take off in this direction.
Wow. Holy smokes. I never seen anything that fast before. You can't see these things in the Holy smokes. You cannot see these things in the viewfinder. I'm just guessing on where I gotta be. I don't have an eye cup. See if I can uh, show you guys the inner workings of one of these. Somebody's working on theirs. Kind of pioneered the uh, RC jet thing. How are you? Good, how are you? I think I'm gonna get a shirt. Patty, Bob Violet models his daughter. And Bob passed away recently. So I got a shirt. Um, excuse me, can I film and can you explain the in, inner workings of one of these for yeah, those that don't know? Absolutely, man. Um, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. yeah. Well, all right, so I don't know what we start from the beginning, but, <laughs> you know, that's our receiver. Okay. So the, we have a radio that we hold that I don't have right now, but that does all the talking to this. Okay. And there's just some satellite receivers placed out for redundancy. Satellite receiver. Yep. Um, I can't really show you one because they're kind of hidden, but they're little, they're, they're like a rectangle piece like this. Okay. Um, then we have batteries for this. We have two of them for redundancy. Those are mounted up in here for CG weight. Okay. So from there, um, we have a central box unit. This controls the distribution of air to the solenoids, which goes uh, door closed, door open, gear down, gear up, and brakes. Oh, cool. So and that's all <laughs> pneumatically operated. Some are okay. electric. Um, so you pump this up ahead of time? Yeah, I got a, got a okay. little filler right here. Okay. And then about 70 psi gets you at least five, six cycles. Of, okay. Which we only need really one. Um, this is integrated into the receiver system. It's a gyro that 
vehicles. Think of it like a shock absorber. It takes all the bumpiness out of turbulent air and makes everything nice and smooth. Oh, see, I, they didn't have them when I was no, flying. No, no, So you can fly little foamies. Yeah. And they're very, feel like a big plane. Oh, okay. Um, so from there, we got hey, the fuel system. you can use system. that today, yeah. Yep, so I'm filling the fuel system. This and is what fuel is this? I use diesel. You can oh, use diesel. kerosene or Jet A. Okay. I use the diesel because I drive a diesel truck and just transfer it out ah. of the transfer tank. <laughs> right from the truck. Yep. Um, so we're filling our UAT. This uh, takes air from the fuel pump or any air that you do not want entering into the system or else you'll get a flame out. So this basically eliminates all air because it draws from the center. So no matter what position that is in, okay. it's always drawing pure fuel, uh, air. Okay. Uh, pure fuel, no air. Right. And it's filtered too. Um, but that goes from the fuel pump through here into our fuel filter, which then goes through my on-off switch just in case yeah um, and that goes directly to the turbine which is encased by here that's a full bypass some are open some are closed okay um, but, um, and that's where the turbines kept and uh, the brain for the turbine is right here the ECU which does all the uh, starter motor mm -hmm. um, oh so you don't have no more oil. hooking the thing up we got two lines we have a fuel line and a electronic line let's call it Okay. ECU line that comes from it's all self-contained now. Yeah, it's really nice. I remember easy. having to stick things in there, the blower the propane, and all that. Yeah, blow yeah. It, spin it. And yeah. So technology has come so far. Nice. So, far, so if you and I, and I don't want to jinx you, I'm just saying, if you did get a flame out, mm -hmm. if you're up pretty high, can you restart? Uh, there are some systems that will restart. Okay. Some people like that, some don't. Uh, the system I'm using on this size engine does not have a restart. It's a Jetsmon motor that I use, a 210. Right. Um, but um, it's luck of the draw where, where you right. get a uh, flame out on what, what, yeah. what you're going to have to do. You if know? You get, and if you, you, you should be able to dead stick it if you have to. Point the nose down, get some air yeah. speed. Right, bend, right. Do what you got to do. What's the weight and what's the thrust? Uh, on this one here, my uh, dry weight is uh, 34 pounds. Okay. So we add, let's add another eight pounds of fuel onto that. I have about 47 pounds of thrust. So it's it's more than yeah. to go vertical, unlimited vertical. What is this? Ten feet? Is that nine feet? Oh, it's right. I'd say eight, eight between eight and nine feet. I forget. And the, the wingspan? Um, Six. Ninety something inches. Oh, okay. In the ninety range. Yeah. Because I remember back in the day, back when I was trying to do ducted fans and got oh, yeah, yeah. scared, um, that was the big thing, surface surface area, you know, on your wings yes, and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Now with, um, I had 11 pounds. I think, I, no, what did I have? I, my weight was 11. I think my thrust was 7. I don't know. I had an OS-92. Yeah, that's why everybody did that. that yeah. Anyway, just get up. Once you got going, the step Yeah, that was okay. You're, you're yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I had so much fun building it. I was just. Yeah, uh, that's part of it, too. You know, yeah. Building. Yeah. And it, yeah. just hanging it in the room, it looked really cool. Everybody asked all questions about it. How fast does it go? And I'll ask you that. How yeah, fast well, do you think? We are limited to 200 miles an okay. hour. So it does 200 miles per hour. Max. 0.999. Cool. Thank you so much. And what was your name? David. 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 I'm John. Nice John. to meet hey, you. John. So cool. So have you? He's got it on a leash. Got it on a leash. <laughs> there you go. Better than bending over, right? Yeah. That's beautiful. Thank you. Is that a BVM kit? No, it's a Comp Art Ultra Flash. Okay. Nice. You got to fly? Yes. It, it, this uh -huh. is probably the fastest thing here. Oh, really? So it's 199.99. Sure, we'll go with that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got to film it. What a great day. It's hot, but it's really, really breezy. Yeah, this thing looks pretty fast.
Well, also in that case, we had a very, we had a very good crosswind that had to get help and slow down. I don't know what happened. It came that way right out of the box. UPS dropped it. How are you doing? Good. 
So you got a little larger one I could put on my car? A couple of them maybe? Yeah. Breezy out here. Oh, look at this head's turn. What? That's crazy. So I hope I got good footage. I can't see the jets in these little viewfinders um, and the camcorder or the GoPro you just got to kind of guess keep it a little bit wide hopefully I got something but I'm sure there's jet videos flying you know on YouTube or whatever just wanted to show you the event had a great time I got some people that are coming by my house so I want to uh, meet them some old friends and uh, yeah thanks for watching be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything new. I would have gone live, but I don't have a whole lot of bandwidth. It's just said that I have uh, wireless here, though. So, I don't know. But my God, it's hot. Um, yeah, 93 degrees, full sun. Pods are just starting to move in now, so it might cool off a little bit. But I had a great time, and this is, um, if you guys are, well, probably by the time I publish this video, it'll be over, but Keep an eye out for these uh, these fun flies if you're into uh, RC jets. All right, later. Have a great day.